Hey guys, it's Judy from Nutrition with Judy. Alright, I hope you guys are having a good week. Please make sure to subscribe, please hit the bell. This allows me to provide you more free content. Alright, so this week I am going to start a series that is long overdue. It is about the carnivore diet and weight loss or weight gain or weight stalls. So the reason why I'm doing this now is because I have several clients that after five, six months, they have healed so many of their ailing symptoms. They're healed in so many different ways that they have much less physical symptoms and mental health benefits. But in general, they are not seeing the weight loss that they see on social media that they expected eating zero carbs or close to zero carbs. We'd like to imagine that weight loss doesn't matter and that we don't focus on a number on the scale or how we necessarily appear in the mirror. But the honest truth is that we do care, that we do care how we look and if we have a certain thinness that we imagine to be once we eat a very clean diet. And as we have these expectations and then it doesn't kind of go through as we expected or we're not as thin as we expected at month five or six, then we start getting frustrated and then the diet kind of starts unraveling at that point. So I always tell my clients to focus on healing first, we don't focus on weight loss. I am not a weight loss coach. I will never be a weight loss coach. I do not focus on weight alone. A lot of times if you are inflamed or you have extra weight, it may be because you have high insulin and other areas of metabolic distress that we can work on that will then naturally cause your weight to drop. I am all about holistic health and about healing and using diet and nutrition in a way that will allow you to live your best lives. But that all said, I know that my clients want to lose weight. They want to be at a healthier weight or even an ideal weight. And so as we heal that, and then we can use whatever weight that you end up being that then you can use levers to then manage your weight and levers, meaning that you can use fasting, intermittent or extended fasting. And there's scientific evidence in clinical studies where it shows that that is a way to increase your metabolic rate and your metabolic rate can drop because of extensive under eating. Um, it could also be that because you've under eaten for such a long period of time that you have lost a lot of your lean body mass and that also helps you to burn calories. And so if you eat more meat, you can also increase your lean body mass and then that will help you to have a faster metabolic rate. But that also means that you may potentially gain weight in the beginning. You can also try different protein to fat ratios. I have a video that talks about that. You can cut some foods and you can even add some additional exercise. There are ways to use other mechanisms and levers to manage your weight. So I know the whole carnivore mantra is that eat a lot of meat, eat to satiety and that you won't gain weight, that your body will find a balance. And that is true to an extent. So I'll share my story. So I've been pretty strict carnivore for about two years now. There was a holiday period, not this past year, but the first year I was carnivore and I ate more keto. Um, but in general, there was a period where I didn't even have coffee. I didn't have any dairy. I didn't even have any processed meats. And so I've been very pretty strict carnivore. But even with all that said, what I did notice is that over time I've gained probably about 15 pounds and you know, by all means I am in the normal weight range, but I'm at a weight that I'm necessarily not the happiest with. And I don't really weigh myself because one of the luxuries of being healed from my eating disorder is that I don't weigh myself at all. I think it's a trigger for me and so I don't weigh, but the ever so occasion that I do, I've noticed that I've gained 15 pounds and I can also tell in my clothes. Carnivore has absolutely been so beneficial with my mental health. I no longer struggle with depression. Um, there were days I would wake up and I just didn't want to be up um, and so I just lay in bed or I'd go back to bed. Um, I never have days like that. I never do. Um, but here's the thing. I'm at a weight that I'm not necessarily the happiest. And so again, I know most people are like, well, you're at a normal BMI range. And yes, but you know, in my world of things, I'm not as happy as with my weight as I'd like it to be. I get my clients frustration and I also get a lot of you on social media that are frustrated with 
weight stalls and weight gains on the carnivore diet. So taking a step back, I realized I was a little silly, um, even as a nutritional therapist, even though with all my studies and looking at a lot of clinical evidence, I wanted to believe that meat heals everything and that carnivore is a silver bullet, that it's this magical diet that heals everything and then not only heals everything, it makes you super thin. You don't have to monitor anything you eat and you don't have to exercise and voila, like you will eat to satiety and all the meats in the world and all the meats that you want and you will be skinny. And while I trusted the process and I ate all the meat I wanted, eventually I just gained weight. Now, some people may argue and say that, well, maybe you're the weight that your body wants to be. And that may be true, but one of the arguments I would make against that is that I still sometimes will turn to food as a coping mechanism when I'm stressed. And that is an indicator that I'm not eating because I'm hungry, but because I'm using it as a coping mechanism. I will be releasing a video later on that talks about anecdotal stories and how people work harder or they have to eat a little less or cut so that they can be at a weight that they find is more optimal. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. In upcoming videos, I will talk more about what we can do about weight stalls and the carnivore diet and how to optimize carnivore diet that works for you. You know the drill, eat a lot of meat, take care of your bodies because it is the only place you have to live. I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye.